Namaste. <laughs> so this is our last day of camping for this like around Europe trip that we had. Mainly we've been in Spain. Now we're in Germany and we're leaving. This has been our home for like a month pretty much. <laughs> and well mostly we've been outside but today it's raining. <laughs> That's why I'm in here. And we had some really really awesome experiences. We've been to like festivals around Spain, uh, yoga festivals. We made it to the lake. 
and having our delicious lunch mm -hmm. here. <laughs> And as it went a lot faster than we expected, we're thinking maybe to go up to that little peak over there. It was a very, very eerie path to get here. Uh, so this is the highest peak in the area, Tuk de It's 2,790 meters. And absolutely stunning. Worth the eerie part. That's where we had our lunch. Here we are at the first out of seven waterfalls. It's beautiful. <laughs> and I think it's a bit colder than expected. <laughs> How's the water love? Second waterfall, ready to go in. So going in again. Is this third? Yeah. yeah, this is the third one. So we're at the fourth waterfall. Uh -huh. 
<laughs> There's no sun here, so I think this will be the coldest one until now. That's a pretty shiny waterfall. <laughs> but beautiful. So second last one. This is number six. Are you ready? Yes. <laughs> so we're meeting people. So there's other people here on the road and we thought we were alone. <laughs> Hmm. This one doesn't look that cold. Last one, number seven. Here we are. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Ready to get in? It looks like you're Ooh. not prepared. That, that's so cold. Oh my god. No, I know. I'm still trying to fight off this cold, so. There he goes. So which one is the best one out of the seven? I think I like all of them. Except the one that I had to go all the way. The one that you had to go all the way? The one that I had to go all the way. Oh. <laughs> that one was beautiful though. Everyone was beautiful. All of them. And really cold. Yeah. So, finishing up this beautiful walk. So, here we are at Costa Brava in Catalonia. And we just arrived to our little destination after maybe an hour and a half walking from our camping ground. And it's beautiful. It is a really, really hot day as it's been a heat wave now in Spain. So it's been a very sweaty walk. But now we're rewarded with this crystal clear water. And Sabine is playing in the trees. Everything is like normal. <laughs> normal. You climbing the trees, playing around, and being in a pile of sweat. Uh -huh. <laughs> but yeah, 
This will be refreshing. Oh, can't wait to dip in. so much new and to to let us into his home like he is absolutely amazing he built I don't know how many houses one two three four five well six houses of Cobb the two new ones their main house the snail the meditation room and uh, uh, now is the tool shed yeah oh it's incredible all the knowledge he has so we're really happy to I had some time there. Okay, so we're here in northern Spain and we're building with Cobb. Natural building is awesome. And this is the first house they built here. Let's have a look. <laughs> this is all made of Cobb. We will peek inside. <laughs> no pressure going by. No. Yeah, it's a bit messy, but it's really beautiful. And then there's some big room upstairs. And obviously, you know, Cobb has his own natural way of cooling and heating. So, and it breathes. It's fantastic. And this is the house, the big house that the owners here at the Brasa House are living in. And it's Straw Bale and Cobb. Pretty magnificent. And they all use in the roofs. They're all like natural roofs. And there's a food forest. Pretty good view as well. To the thing we are here. Gulamin! Working on, oh yeah. <laughs> My awesome car that has taken us everywhere over Europe. And here is the new addition, which is the meditation room. This is the straw bell that is used as uh, insulation inside of the wall. And that's the car mixture that is over there under the blue. Cob is a mix of uh, straw bale and the soil which normally has a certain amount of clay and then you mix sand and mix it all around with water and then you get this amazing thing! <laughs> so we just finished up the roof yesterday and today Now, but it's a mix of um, 
like wooden chunks? Log. Oh, logs. <laughs> uh, with the same length and then like hop in between. So it's a very fast, fast way of building a little roundhouse. <sighs> yeah, I can't. And then they're gonna put like limestone on the outside to make it waterproof. And not sure about the floor here. Yeah, I think they're making it wooden wooden floor. floor. Yeah. Yeah, so it's, it's really awesome. Oh, and there's lots of plums here. Bamboo. We made actually uh, bamboo sprouts. We were cooking with them yesterday. They were delicious. This is pretty, pretty much paradise, huh? Okay. <laughs> See you later. Okay, so this is our last day. We're leaving now, and we just wanna show you the beautiful plastering we've done today. We've done an earth plaster. Oh, not finished, but. Anyway, you can see the difference from some other, some days ago we were in here. And look, uh, you know, you could even leave it like that. They might do another plaster, but I'm not sure. Oh, it's so beautiful. Well, oh, thank you, Robert, for like teaching us so much and for having us here. It's been awesome. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It's sad to go back to Norway, but man, it's so expensive to be camping <laughs> in the rest of Europe. In Norway, we just do wild camping. You know, it's free, you can camp anywhere. Here, we're paying from like, most expensive, 35 euros a night, just to put up our tent. Because, no, I think you know, it was 36. Really? Yeah. What? That's just crazy. And it's illegal to just put up your camp or your tent in nature, so there was no choice. That's why we're actually going back a little bit earlier than planned, because there's no way we can do this <laughs> in other places in Scandinavia, you know. So we're gonna definitely do some more trekking in Norway. So we're looking forward to that as well. a good month. Thanks to you, my love. Thanks to you for <laughs> driving all the way around almost 6,000, yeah. 7,000 kilometers. Yesterday we did like 1,500 kilometers in one day just because, you know, we had to make it to this ferry that we're taking today, which they only had any space today, so there was no choice. So 1,500 in one day, man. That was intense. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, anyway, thank you. Until next time. See you. <laughs>